Chapter 3, Section 3. Using Simulation Wizard. In this section of the video series, we will be discussing Radiance Simulation Wizard tool, and how it can be used to simplify the process for simulating a project. The Simulation Wizard is a tool that can be used to create scripts for simulating Radiant projects. The Simulation Wizard is useful because it automates the process for setting up a project for simulation, and requires very little user input. Another benefit of the tool, is that users do not need to know how to create Tickle scripts, or how to set up simulations in Model Sim. With that said, there are two ways to launch the Simulation Wizard. The first way is to select the Tools drop-down from Radiance menu bar. From the drop-down that appears, select the option called Simulation Wizard. The second way to launch the Simulation Wizard, is to select its icon from the Radiant toolbar, as can be seen in the figure at the bottom of the screen. There are no differences between these two methods, as both will open the window for setting up a Simulation Wizard project. The following few slides will discuss the process for setting up a Simulation Wizard project. Once the simulation wizard is initialized, a window similar to the figure on the slide should appear. This is the initial page for the simulation wizard tool, and outlines the process for setting up a simulation. There are no configurable settings in this page, so users can click the next button whenever they are ready to proceed. The next page in the simulation wizard window, can be seen in the figure on the screen. The first thing users should do in this window, is define a name and location for their simulation wizard project, using the project name, and project location fields. Next, users should select the simulation tool that they want to use to simulate their project, using the simulator option field. By default, only model sim will be available for selection, unless another simulation tool has been configured in Radiance options. Finally, Users should select the process stage they want to simulate their project at. RTL will always be selectable as an option, however, the other three options require some additional configuration. For the post synthesis process stage option to be available, users will need to enable the post synthesis simulation file option in Radiance Task Detail View and run synthesis. For the post route gate level and post route gate level timing options to be available for selection, Users will need to enable the gate level simulation file option in the task detail view, and then run the export files part of the process flow. Once all the settings in this page have been configured, click next to continue the simulation wizard setup process. The next page in the simulation wizard window is used to set up files for simulation. What this page looks like can be seen in the figure on the screen. In this page, users can add and remove the files that are included for project simulation, using the page icons at the top of the window. By default, all the files in an implementation that are included for simulation, or synthesis and simulation, will appear here. The files in a simulation can be seen in the main source files window of the screen. The order that files appear here is the order they will be compiled in, with the top file being the first one to be compiled. At the bottom of the window is the automatically set simulation compilation file order option checkbox. If this option is enabled, the order of the simulation files will automatically be inferred by Radiant. If this option is disabled, users will have to manually specify the order for the files in their simulation, using the arrow icons at the top of the screen. Once users have finished adding the simulation files for their project, they should click the next button to continue. The second to last page of the simulation wizard window, can be seen in the figure on the screen. In this page, users can select the test bench module they created to simulate their project. The simulation top module is automatically inferred by Radiant, however, if users want to select a different test bench in their project, they can do so using the simulation top module drop-down at the bottom of the page. After users have selected the correct test bench module, they can proceed by clicking the next button. The final page of the simulation wizard window can be seen on the figure in the slide. This window contains two sections. The top section of the window, is a summary of all the selections that were made in the previous simulation wizard pages. Before finishing the simulation wizard setup, users should review this information to ensure everything is correct. If a mistake is found in this section, the back button at the bottom of the window can be used to go back and correct the issue. The bottom section of this page contains a few additional options. 
These options can be used to control what happens after users are finished with the simulation wizard project setup. The first option, Run Simulator, launches the selected simulation tool if it is enabled. The second option, Add Top Level Signals to Waveform Display, automatically adds the ports from the test bench module to the waveform display in Model Sim if it is enabled. The third and final option, Run Simulation, runs the tickle command to initialize the generated simulation wizard script. This script automatically compiles and runs a simulation. All three of these additional options are enabled by default. To disable an option, toggle the checkbox next to the option's name. If all three options are enabled, the simulation tool will automatically launch and run the simulation. To finish setting up a simulation wizard project, select the finish icon from the bottom of the window. If all three of the final simulation wizard checkboxes were enabled, Model Sim will launch, compile the files for the simulation, and then open an additional waveform window. One important thing to note about simulation wizard simulations is that by default, they will only simulate the first microsecond of a simulation session. In order to simulate the rest of a test bench simulation, click the Run All button at the top of the window. The simulation will continue until it reaches the end of the test bench. In order to view the, the waveform for the entire simulation, click the Zoom Full icon. Doing this will expand the waveform display timescale, so that the waveform for the entire simulation is displayed. Once the simulation wizard setup process is complete, two new simulation files will be generated. The first file is an SPF simulation project file. This file can be found in Radiance file list tab, in the scripts folder for the active implementation. The name of this file will match whatever was defined during the simulation wizard setup process. Double-clicking this file will reopen the simulation wizard setup window, allowing users to modify the settings for their simulation wizard project. The second file that is generated by the simulation wizard is an mdo script. This script is used to automatically set up, compile, and run a simulation. This is the file that is invoked in Model Sim if the Run Simulation option is enabled in the last page of the simulation setup window. Users can invoke this script in the selected simulation tool to manually run a simulation. That concludes this chapter of the introductory training series. To view the next chapter in the video series, select the video called Chapter 4, Synthesis and Constraint Entry.